Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on shafts in series. So let's get started. Now here there is a question that determine the total angle of twist for a step shaft as shown in figure. The diagram is given. In this diagram as we can see there is a shaft having length AB which is having the diameter 50 mm the length is 4 meter. Next it is connected to another shaft BC having diameter 20 mm and the length is 2 meter. Now at point C of this stepped shaft a torque of 200 newton meter is being applied and then they have given that G which is the modulus of rigidity it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 mega pascal. So this is the question in front of us. I'll write the data first. The diameter of portion AB is 50 mm and the corresponding length is 4 meter which is 4000 mm. Diameter of portion BC 20 mm and the length of the portion is 2 meter which is 2000 mm. We have to find the total angle of twist that is considering AB and BC portion. We have to find the total angle of twist theta suffix total. The torque is 200 newton meter. So I'll convert it that it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton millimeter. And G value is 80 10 raised to 3 mega pascal which is same as 80 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. So let's get started with the solution part. Here I'll mention that for shafts in series, now why it is called as shafts in series because the length of the shaft AB portion and then there is another shaft which is connected having different diameter different lengths. So when we go on adding the length of the shaft it means it is shafts in series. Now here as we see the different lengths and diameters are connected so it is called as shafts in series. The moment we fix the other end as well then it would be called as shafts in parallel. Now for shafts in series the condition is that the torque which is applied at point C will remain constant throughout that is torque value will remain same whereas the angle of twist will go on adding like here I can say that for shafts in series the first condition is the torque in portion AB will be same as the torque in portion BC and it is the given value of torque which is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton mm. So from the first condition we get the torque value. Now the second condition is for shafts in series the total angle of twist which is theta total would be given by theta of portion AB plus theta for portion BC. So remember whenever we have shafts in series the amount of torque remains constant throughout whereas the angle of twist gets added. Then how to get theta for that I will write down the equation here that since from the torsional equation and from that to the rigidity criteria T upon J is equal to G theta by L. So therefore theta keeping theta on one side it is T into L upon GJ. So for AB if I want to write it would be in this way T into L upon GJ for portion AB plus T into L upon GJ for portion BC. Then after reaching up till here 
J is the polar MI or, or polar moment of inertia for both portion AB and BC I can calculate it here itself that since J for portion AB is pi by 32 diameter raised to 4 the diameter is 50 for portion AB and the answer comes out to be it is 613 0.59 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter raised to 4 and therefore J for portion BC is same pi by 32 diameter raised to 4 and the diameter for portion BC is 20 mm given so from this I will get the J value and the answer is 15.71 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4. Now after getting these j values here as we know the torque is constant for shafts in series at the same time g value since the material is same they have given only one modulus of rigidity in the problem the materials are not different and not specified so we can take the same value of g in other words I would be taking t and g common so this would become into the bracket length upon polar mij for portion ab plus length upon polar mi for portion bc the torque value is 210 raised to 3 g is given it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 megapascal which is 80 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square length of portion AB in terms of mm since it is 4 meter so that is 4000 millimeter J for portion AB is here it is 613.59 into 10 raised to 3 length of portion BC it is 2 meter so 2000 mm J for portion BC is 15.71 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 so from this I am going to get the value of theta total on calculating my answer comes out to be it is 0 0.3345 radians or multiply this answer by 180 divided by pi to get the answer in terms of degree and it comes out to be 19.17 degree that's the answer so as per the question they have said we have to find the total angle of twist for shafts in series and here the total angle of twist we have calculated and with this the problem gets completed at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching